out of Puyallup, Washington. He is a true switch hitter. It's almost equal bat speed from the left and right side, and that is so unusual to players this age. So baseball in the Northwest, I want to know all about it because I'm a little biased to the West, but I also am intrigued as a SoCal guy by baseball in the Northwest. Um, but we've seen a lot of great young talented players come from your neck of the woods. Yeah, so we practice indoor a lot between the winter time because it's always raining. And then our select teams usually travel out to all over and play tournaments with you guys and whoever else and we have a lot of good ball players out of there. You're one of those um, dastardly switch hitters that's so tough to manage. It's really, really tough to manage. But what goes into it? I started when I was like seven. Why? Uh, just my dad teach me how to hit and I would mirror his swing. So that kind of got me into left-handed and then he would also just have me swing right-handed and it just worked. And I was pretty good at both from a young age. Very, very interesting. I want to I want to talk a little bit about your father because his name is Mark, right? Right. I'm personally very thankful when anyone in law enforcement takes that on as their career. As a son, what have you learned from his career? Um, I've learned that you got to be good in life and stay on track because if you don't, you can get in trouble and not do the dreams you want. And he's been a really good mentor. It seems like as a son, to be like almost sometimes nervous. Is he out in the field a lot or? Uh, he works nights, so Ooh. he sleeps when I'm at school and he's awake when I get home, so. Tough assignment though, yeah. working the nights. Yeah, he likes it though. He's been doing it for his whole career. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Was he the reason you fell for baseball, do you think? Um, he was more of like a football, basketball guy. He's, he's played all the sports, but I would say I liked baseball more because he got me into wrestling first. So I wrestled for my whole life and then I got tired of it because he had to cut weight and all that. And I was like, geez. So then I switched to baseball when I was younger. and I liked that more. Wrestling. Yeah. That's a great sport though. Oh yeah. You're in control of your core now, getting older, right? Yeah. Tell me about wrestling. How long ago did you stop? Um, I stopped when I was like 12. Okay. Because I wasn't getting much bigger, and then I went all these events, and these kids were huge. So that Wait, was. Don't they have weight classes? Yeah, they do. And my wrestling coach, he always wanted me to wrestle like down because I was kind of a smaller kid, and I was winning. So. I love the fact that you also carry a good GPA. Tell me yeah. a little bit about your mind and how you know grades matter to you. My mom and my aunt. My aunt's a high school teacher, so she makes sure my grades are good, and I study with her. What do you love? What do you love learning about? Um, math. She's my math teacher, so. Your aunt is your math teacher? Yeah, she will be next year. Wow. Yeah. You can't get in trouble at school. <laughs> nope. You gotta keep your nose clean at Puyallup High School. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Talk to me about Coach Canham. He's, Oregon State. Yeah, he's great. He's, he's a very nice guy, and. I talk to him probably once a month around there, and and I talk to Ryan Gibson, the assistant head mm -hmm. coach. I send him hitting clips, and then we'll get on a phone call, and he'll tell me what's wrong and what I'm doing well. You're getting older, so your body's changing, right? But talk to me about kind of your progression from year to year. Tell me about that. Um, and are you chasing numbers? I mean, do they yeah, matter? Yeah, they do matter okay. to me because I hate going on there and seeing my numbers all lower than everyone else's. So every year I try to make big jumps, but I've gained a lot of strength and muscle, so we'll see. All right, pal. Appreciate it. Yep.